going to digitize a diagram of four birds on a limb using a full-size diagram. I'm using Logic Trace 2022. The first thing I'm going to do is select the four points and that'll define the four corners of my diagram. You can see here where I'm selecting those four corners. For this type of diagram, I'm probably going to be using the trace selection. I use a red pencil to show where I've started the tracing. The diagram ends up being one complete perimeter trace, so it's a long trace. The file that I'm going to create here is going to be for a CNC cut. I'm going to be using Live Edge Bird's Eye Maple, so I'll need to create a toolpath using Vectric Aspire 11.5. The workpiece I'm going to be using, the live edge, it's about 5 8 thick, a bit more. The one note here about tracing something like this, there's no stopping, it's one big trace. I'm also going to show here where I saved my work. Getting close now to finishing up, so I'll save my file as the final file. And I'm going to load that file into Vectric Aspire 11.5, check the vector quality, and see if there's any node editing required. I also like to run the file through the simulator just to see how the, the cut's going to look. And create the CNC toolpath. Shown here, I've got my workpiece fastened down to the CNC table. Because the diagram is so intricate and not that big, I'm using an eighth inch carbide end mill. I had to use an eighth inch bit because if I went to a quarter inch bit, it would have messed up the bird's beaks. The eighth inch bit will cut a smaller radius. This is an interesting workpiece. It's a bird's eye maple live edge. Quite nice. It took a while to machine this out because I didn't uh, have a very fast feed rate. When you use an eighth inch bit, you got to be careful because you don't want to break that bit. You can push a quarter inch carbide end mill, but you really can't push an eighth inch bit. It'll break. You'll also notice there that the hold downs I use are all wood. And that's because I don't want that bit getting into any metal hold downs or any screws or nails. This way, if it hits one of those hold downs, it's hitting wood. You'll see here where I did use a number six screw on each one of those birds. As it's cut out, I don't want that to move. The effect that I was looking for here is to have these birds cut right through. So then there'd be just uh, the light showing through the board. So you could just change the background. You could use a, a colored background or, or no background, just have it clear. Speaking of colored background, I gave the workpiece a gentle sanding and four coats of lacquer. It looks good. Then I change it to a white background. That looks the best. I like the effect.